What's up guys, Coach As. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about glove maintenance. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to keep your gloves smelling clean, how to keep them looking fresh, and most importantly, how to make sure they last for as long as possible. Now, I'm gonna talk both about synthetic PU gloves as well as full leather gloves because there is a difference in slightness in terms of how you maintain these. Uh, we'll start with the synthetics and then what's in common and then we'll talk about the one thing that you need to do additionally if you keep and if you wear a pair of leather gloves like these ones. Let's get started. The first thing is to understand what we're trying to battle against when we're trying to look after our gloves. The main thing that's gonna be an issue for you is the smell. So that's the main thing that people wanna try and avoid. They don't want their gloves to stink. They don't want every time they put them on or put them in the car that it fills the space with a bad smell and I completely understand that. The issue here is bacteria. Bacteria primarily from your hands and your sweat and your grime getting in those gloves and then being left to fester. And once that happens, once that smell is in, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to get it out. I always say to people when they tell me, how do I get the bad smell out of my gloves? I say you throw them away and you buy yourself a new pair because it's almost impossible to get it out. So if your gloves already stink, Doing what I'm gonna show you today isn't gonna fix it, it's not gonna get rid of that smell, but the next set of gloves you get, maybe you get a set for Christmas, uh, then this is the method in order to keep them from smelling bad. So first we need to understand the enemy. What does bacteria like? Bacteria likes a warm, moist, dark environment. Now when you think about your gloves after a hard training session, that's exactly the kind of environment that's inside these gloves. It's dark in there, it's warm in there from your body heat and your temperature, and it's definitely going to be moist, it's gonna be wet. And more so than that, it's full of your, your sweat and your grime and your skin and dirt, and all of these things are effectively there which can feed the bacteria, help them to multiply, help them to grow. So when we're thinking about what we want to do to our gloves, we want to make sure that after every single training session that we're getting these dry gloves dry and we're getting these gloves clean. And then in between, we're keeping them well ventilated or very dry inside. So let's talk about the cleaning process first. And this will apply whether you've got a synthetic glove or you've got a leather glove. Before we even get to finish training, here's a little quick tip. Wash your hands before you start training. I know that sounds like it's not gonna make much of a difference, but it really does. If you're gonna wear these for an hour, you're gonna put your hands inside. If you've just come in off the street or you've spent the day and then you've gone straight to training, think about all this stuff, the bacteria, the dirt, the grime that's already on your hands that you're then putting in there and sweating out into your gloves. So give your hands a quick wash before you start training. Put on a fresh set of hand wraps before you start training so that there's a layer between your hand and the glove. So at least some of that moisture is gonna end up in those hand wraps rather than into the material on your gloves. Next thing, so we've got to that, we got to the end of training, we've taken our gloves off and now we need to clean them. The mistake everyone makes, and if you do this a couple of times, it only takes a handful of times before your gloves start to smell. You take your gloves and you throw them in your kit bag, you zip your kit bag up and you throw it back in the car and it stays there till next week. Well, guess what? It's that warm, moist, dark environment that the bacteria loves and it's gonna multiply and it's gonna grow. So immediately after training, the first thing you need to do is you need to dry your gloves out. So make sure that you've got a towel in your kit bag, something clean. What I have is I basically got seven or eight of the same towel. And I grab one a day and at the end of the week, I just wash this same towel seven, eight times. Uh, and then they're the towels I use primarily for cleaning gloves, yeah? Make sure you open the glove right up and get your hand right in there and clean all the way around. You wanna make sure that you get right through to the top here where the fingers go and in the thumb compartment here as well. Get all of that moisture out of there, okay? Now, that's not enough. You might not be as crazy as I am and carry one of these around with you, but when you get home or you get back from the gym, then you need to make sure that you then clean it with something antibacterial. Now, I like this style, which is like an aerosol can. The reason I like this is it doesn't provide as much moisture as say, for example, a spray bottle where it kind of squeaks it out. 
I don't want to introduce a whole bunch of moisture back into the glove. So I find the more aerosol style antibacterial sprays are a lot better. Pay attention to the label on these because there are very different uh, compounds in them. Some of them take up to five minutes to work. Now that's fine if you're willing to wait five minutes before wiping it down, but you can get ones that work as quick as one minute. And I've even seen ones that are like meant to be 30 to 15 seconds. You wanna get something like that where you spray it in and you wait a minute before you wipe it out. A big common mistake people make with cleaning in general, but especially with gloves, is they'll spray something like this in there, an antibacterial spray, and then they'll wipe it straight out. Well, it doesn't, it's not instantaneous. It's not upon contact that it cleans things. You need to put it in there, and you need to let it get to work for a little while. So spray them in, give it a minute or two, and then again, you need to dry that back out inside, okay? So now we've, removed any bacteria, we've removed any moisture from the gloves. Now in order to maintain that, I go the extra mile and I get a set of glove deodorizers. So these are Meister. Uh, these are the best ones I've ever found. This isn't a sponsored video by anything in this uh, video, but uh, these are the best I've ever found. They're quite a strong smell, but the beauty of these are is that you can unzip it from the side and you can get refills because Although these things are great, effective, they're like those silica gel packs that you get when you get a delivery of some kind. They're, they're moisture absorbing, but they only last so long. You can microwave them. I've seen people leave them out in the sun to kind of re-dry them so that they can be used again, but they do have a bit of a shelf life. And I find after about six months, maybe a little shorter than that, they start becoming a bit redundant. But you can pull these out, you can wash the covers, and you can put in fresh refills and then they'll go, they're good to go. These are lavender scented and like I said, they're really strong. Uh, they kind of permeate the gloves and the wraps, but I'd much rather stink of lavender than bacteria. So get yourself a set of these. They just go right inside the glove. And again, you wanna make sure that you're getting it as far up into the glove as possible. Yeah, and then you just close that up in there and you're good to go. Yeah, and note on that, I see a lot of people and they'll store their gloves with the Velcro back this way. Uh, the idea being to keep it open and ventilated, which is obviously a good thing. One thing I will say is you're running the risk, depending on where you keep your gloves, of damaging your Velcro by leaving it exposed. You don't wanna get any foreign materials into here or into here, otherwise you'll find that your Velcro will start going a lot sooner than it needs to. I'd much rather use some glove deodorizers and keep my Velcro closed so that I protect my glove on all sides and all angles. And again, you can anti-back the outside as well. So guys, that's the cleaning process. If that's all you needed, you can click off the video at this point. However, if you do keep a set of leather gloves, there's one more step that I wanna give you in terms of maintaining and looking after them, and that is leather conditioner. Leather is effectively skin. Uh, and the best way I like to compare it to is the skin on your feet, because some of you might be familiar. If you train a lot barefoot, your feet start to dry, and then when they dry enough, they start to crack and they start to tear. Leather will do exactly the same thing. If you use leather a lot, if you make a lot of impact with it, as you obviously would with boxing gloves, what can happen is you can get a drying out of the leather and eventually a cracking and splitting of it as well. So once a month, maybe once every two months, get some of this. It's effectively like a balm, and I just get a little bit on a microfiber cloth, you know, less than a, a little coin's worth, and I just rub it all over the gloves. And give it a few hours, come back to them, you'll see it's almost like you've applied moisturizer to a skin. It really helps to protect and look after your leather, and you'll find that your gloves go a long way. So guys, I hope that's been helpful. That's how to clean, maintain, and care for your gloves. Whether you've got a nice pair of leathers or you've got synthetics, you'll get a lot more use out of them, and they'll just be a lot more enjoyable to use if you keep them clean. I hope this video has been helpful, guys. If it has, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button, get subscribed to the channel. We've got new videos coming every week, and I will see you on the next one.